Greetings, Internets. Think of 2112 here at 0946 Eastern Daylight Time on Monday, the 28th of May, 2012. Happy Memorial Day to my uh, fellow Americans. To my uh, American viewers. I didn't mean that to sound. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's play Plants vs. Zombies. Some good money to pick up here. Lots of good money to pick up here. Oh, I almost have enough for the uh, aquatic garden. So let's get some more by killing more zombies. Uh, doesn't really matter, because it's right at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, so this is the easy version of Vase Breaker here, of course, for level 4-5. As I've said before, the 5th and 10th uh, levels of each world. Wow, I'm no zombies. Might as well just break the, all the... <laughs> wow. <laughs> if all the zombies were in that column. <laughs> so why is he bringing me more vases? If he knows there are zombies in them, or some of them. Anyway, like I've said before, the 5th and 10th stages of each world are not changed very much from the first to the second time through the adventure. Should have put that somewhere else. Like here. Single Snoopy is not going to be enough. That'll help, but... Here's an idea. Why don't you take the plants they're giving you? Okay, that's not gonna... Okay, that'll help. That's better. Squishy, squishy. Okay, now I'm looking for the tough zombies. Because I want something worth hypnotizing. Otherwise, these hypno shrooms are gonna. You know, I'll, I'll just plant it somewhere. That's better than planting it nowhere. I didn't want those hypno shrooms revealed so early because then I had to decide where to plant them without knowing where the tough zombies were. Maybe I can get this one planted in a good spot. Or, and or that one. So many of them. <laughs> I can't use all of these at no shrooms. Okay, there. I actually put that one to good use. Well, this will be interesting. Yes, back up, or if I haven't demonstrated this before, hypnotized dancing zombies will summon hypnotized backup dancers. Oh, wait a minute, I need to break those. That was a very chintzy reward. It was also a very quick stage, though. Hmm, useful plants. Okay, I'm going to take Kindhearted Gamer 422's suggestion here and actually use pumpkins to cover the plants in back. Because there are digger zombies here. Of course, I also use magnet shrooms as plan A. The pumpkins are plan B. Alright, is this everything I need? I think so. In case anyone's wondering about the uh, almanac entries that I haven't covered yet, 
I'm waiting until the final zombie is encountered. And with luck, that should be in stage 410. You know, I don't usually use sea shrooms, but if they give them to me, I'm gonna use them. And by they, I mean Crazy Dave. Crazy Dave gives them to me. So I hope everyone is having a nice day off, everyone in the US at least. I hear it's also a holiday in France. And I know that because I was watching uh, just watching the French Open and they mentioned it, the tennis tournament. As I probably mentioned at some point, I am a tennis fan. I'll be rooting for Rafael Nadal to take his record seventh, take a record seventh French Open title. Now that most of you probably care about that, I know that Let's players and big sports fans don't overlap that much. I was thinking to myself that I seem to be building things up more quickly than useful. More quickly than useful. More quickly than usual. And then the conehead came to remind me that, oh, actually things are in the level have progressed, progressed further than I thought. So no, I'm not that fast. Wow, I just realized that I put Torchwood there when I meant it to be a plant turn. This is what happens if you record when you're tired. You do dumb things like that and you don't realize it until a minute or two later. <laughs> Alright, I hear a digger. That should slow him down. Of course, I need something to get rid of him, too. It's overkill, but oh well. What I really need are a couple magnet shrooms. You know what? I'm going to have to use the torchwoods as my de facto plant turns. So I'm generally trying to do this Let's Play with as few restarts as possible. Like restarting the level as few times as I can. Alright, I need to get some more serious defenses up here. As opposed to silly defenses. All right, well, they don't work as well as planters, but they're better than nothing. I'm just thinking, it, I've been... Recently, I played the Tales of Monkey Island games... There was, uh, in one of them, there is a legendarily spicy pepper called the Fugu Jalokia. Now, I know what a Fugu is. It's a type of blowfish considered a delicacy in Japan, and I think it's considered a, a mark, somewhat of a mark of distinction if a chef prepares one because... Or at least a mark of daring, because if it's prepared incorrectly, then it basically kills you. So I know what the fugu part of that made-up pepper, where that name comes from, but 
I don't know what Jolokia means, if anything. It could be that they completely made up that word, but Monkey Island does tend to have a lot of references to real-world stuff and other fi fictional stuff, so I'm thinking it's a reference to something. If anyone knows, let me know, but maybe it's something too obscure. By the way, I would recommend the Tales of Monkey Island games. They were a lot of fun and very funny as well. I mean, you wouldn't really play a Monkey Island game that wasn't funny. That's sort of what the series is about. At least I wouldn't. So as I did last year, I'm going to, I plan to go to Otakon this year. And I certainly haven't decided for sure that I'm going to go in costume. It's very much at the speculative stage for me. Because I'm thinking, if I do go in costume, I'm going to want something that, number one, is appropriate for the climate. And Baltimore in summer is rather brutal with the humidity. But number two does not require me to look particularly athletic or anything like that. Unfortunately, these two criteria often seem to contradict each other. The less coverage a costume uh, has, the better it will be for warm weather, but also the higher potential that it will require its wearer to either to look more athletic or just not to look like the character. I may actually get five stages done in this session. Um... Okay, don't need planters this time because I have blovers. Once again, these plants are all useful. Thank you, Crazy Dave. Extra. And pumpkin. And what else do I want? You know, since I'm going to be using pumpkins rather than tall nuts, might as well take that. Okay, now we're getting to the really foggy levels. Anyway, the reason why I brought up Otakon is because one of the costumes I've considered is Guybrush Threepwood, uh, the main character of the Monkey Island series. That costume would probably be too hot, though. Even if I did one of the incarnations in which he isn't wearing his coat, it would probably be too hot. Plus, my hair is the wrong color. Not that that's a fatal flaw. But I'm not the kind of guy who would, you know, bleach his hair for a, a weekend thing. My brother bleached his hair once. I mean, his hair is roughly the same color as mine. If you've seen any of my vlogs, then, you know, it's kind of light brown. But he bleached it for, uh, for a high school production of Footloose. He was the main character. And while Kevin Bacon in the movie version does have brown hair, uh, for whatever reason, people decided that this character should be blonde in the version that my brother did. It was so funny when I, I saw this, I saw the production and, like, the opening, the opening scene, like at the very beginning of the, when the curtain just rises, and they're kind of old-fashioned in this theater, I guess, because they do actually have a curtain. Um, 
Anyway, when the curtain rises, the first thing you see is just the main character, I think Ren is the name, just dancing on his own. And I just looked at him and it's like, wait, is that really my brother? Because he just looks so not like himself. Not just the hair, but like clothes. We're not the type of clothes he usually wears. And it was funny. And there was also the fact that the person who was playing his character's mother was his real-life girlfriend at the time. <laughs> Which means that his love interest was someone else. <laughs> I mean, the love interest in the play was played by someone else. You know what I mean? Alright, let's actually see what's going on here. Not too much yet. <clears throat> Come on, it's only 16 minutes in. I can't be getting hoarse already. Here and here would be good places for gloom shrooms. And I can just put my mag shrooms right in back of them. It wasn't the best order in which to do things. However, I just did not want to see a bunch of my plants blown up. I don't know why I keep forgetting this. I just, I'm in such a strong habit of picking tall nuts before I pick pumpkins and like using and then if, if I use pumpkins, using them along with tall nuts. But if you're using gloom shrooms, then pumpkins are really the better choice because they don't block the gloom shrooms attack. And I'm covering some of these plants, pumpkins, just in case a digger zombie or two gets through. Rocket head should be no problem with the magnet shrooms messing them up. I uh, okay, yeah, that was a good idea because. Well, except how do I take care of that guy now? Derp! That wasn't supposed to happen like that. I needed a better oops plant than that. I may have to dig up that other sun shroom. Another thing I could do would be to replace these scaredy shrooms with gloom shrooms. The scaredy shrooms are actually pretty a pretty big part of my defenses here, so maybe that's not the best idea.
Like, this is why I prefer planters, because it's annoying, and not to mention resource consuming. To have to use the blower every 25 seconds. I'm, I'm just wondering how much I'm going to, I'm trying to figure out how much I want to show, like, on, in terms of the last stuff, like, the stuff that could take me a long time before I can show it off fully, because it requires a lot of grinding for money. How much of that stuff I am going to show on this file, and how much of it I'm just going to go back to my other files to show. Oh, I was hoping those sun trims would grow up before the level ended. Looks like they may not, though. I have this weird obsession where I don't like to have an amount of sun that isn't divisible by 25. So I always make sure to gather all the little suns from the sun shrooms before they've grown up rather than missing one or two. <laughs> 